I'm making an Arduino powered hexapod from scratch. And in this video, I'll be going over a bunch of wire management improvements I made to it. I'm not gonna lie, I've been putting off wire management for quite a while, but now that the design is relatively finalized, it made sense to take care of it. There are three improvements I made that all work together to solve this problem. The first was adding holes in the frame that I can channel the wires through. I considered not making holes at all and just running the wires under the frame, but the wires would end up rubbing against the ground and that was not good. I ended up redesigning the frame motor mount pieces to rise in the center. When attached to the frame, this would create a hole perfect for the wires to go through. This solution was a lot better than adding the holes in the frame itself, since these four pieces are way quicker to print than, uh, than the entire frame. The, the frame print is like six hours. Obviously this wasn't enough on its own, but it was a great start. The second wire management upgrade I made was to the custom PCB shield. The one I was using was great, don't get me wrong, but clumping all of the servo connections into one spot made wiring them annoying at best. The newly designed PCB groups the servo connections by leg and puts these groups as close to the corresponding leg as possible. Not only does this make wiring the servo so much easier, because the connections are closer to each leg, a few of the femurs that needed wire extenders no longer do. Unfortunately, there were two huge issues with the PCB. And I just wanna say, whoever designed this PCB was an idiot. It was me. The first issue was that not all the grounds were linked. I falsely assumed that the copper layer would be connected no matter what, but since I had so many crossing wires, the Arduino's ground, the battery's ground, and the NRS ground weren't linked. The second issue came after fixing the first. The copper connecting the ground from the servo connections back to the battery was so thin that it literally blew up. Like, I'm, I'm not joking, there was actually smoke. Now the copper to bring power to the servos is thick because I knew there were a lot of amps and volts and whatever flowing through. What I failed to realize was that the same amount was flowing back from the servos to the battery. So it needed to be just as thick. Fortunately, both these things were relatively easy to fix in the design and the new PCBs are being made as we speak by JLC PCB, not sponsored yet. I was able to fix the issue by soldering some wires from the servo grounds to the Arduino ground. Uh, so at least while I'm waiting, I don't have to go back to the old PCB. The third and final improvement was mesh tubing. This stuff is amazing. The fact that it not only holds the wires in something that actually looks good, but also allows the wires to enter from anywhere makes it perfect for this. On each leg, I ran a piece from the tibia servo to the frame holes. It bends with the legs really well and I'm super happy with how it turned out. The combination of the frame holes, new PCB, and mesh tubing have done a perfect job at kneading up the wires going from the servos to the frame. The problem now is that there's a bunch of excess wire in the frame that has nowhere to go, but that's a problem for future Acer. There was one update that wasn't wire management related, the new tibia servos. The 25 kilogram servos I was using weren't strong enough in some cases, so I replaced them with the Pro version. They're $10 more expensive and they are so much stronger and faster. They're better in literally every way. You can't really tell from the footage, but the Hexapod is significantly sturdier. The tibias don't give at all anymore. And that is it for the updates. Although the wiring inside the top is abysmal, I'm really happy with the wiring outside the top. As far as I can tell, the mesh tubing doesn't negatively affect walking at all. And it looks pretty good too. Next update video, I'll be adding an attack mode. Make sure you're subbed so you don't miss it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.